A Kenyan player could soon turn out for Manchester City in the English Premier League after being signed into the team's academy earlier this month. The name Ayman Onyango might not ring a bell to many, but they do know his father, former Kenya rugby international Lucas Onyango. Now, Ayman is not allowed to give interviews because of his age, but our sports editor Michael Kini caught up with the youngster and his father in London. Here's Ayman Onyango's story as told by his father, Lucas Nyango. March day at the Wembley Stadium. City, we're from Manchester City! Manchester City are playing Sheffield United in the FA Cup semi-finals. It is a match with a lot of interest for Kenyans who are mad about English football. But our focus here today is more than just the semi-final match. We are after the story of Amen Nyango, who in years to come might just play for Manchester City in this very stadium. Amen is the son of Lucas Onyango, a Kenyan rugby legend who lit up the rugby world both in Kenya and in England where he played until his retirement. Lucas thought his son would follow his path in rugby, but the boy was put on a different journey. Uh, the journey with Amen started uh, with his mom, to be honest, because I always wanted him to play rugby as usual and you know, him and his brother always played rugby since they were babies. So one day Zina came to me and said, to me, why, doesn't, why, why don't you let him play rugby or no, football? I said, okay, but as long as he's at training on Monday and the other one is going to on Sunday. So that's how he started because he was always kicking a ball since he was young. Lucas then took up the role of taking Amen for training and he fell in love with the game. He had been a Chelsea fan by virtue of living in London until he switched allegiance to Manchester City. So I've always looked out for Chelsea and then when Drogba signed for Chelsea, me and my sister used to call Dogba Kini because of his garlic kit. So we always love Chelsea. Come on, City! So, yeah. Yes, get in! Come on, Boosh! Yes! Yes! Manchester! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manchester! Manchester! Manchester. Yeah. That's what you get, yeah? Yeah, that's what you get with Manchester, man. They love their team, man. This is how popular he is. The interview interrupted several times by City fans. He's a, 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 Lucas says Eamon's strength is in working hard and never being scared of trying out something new. You know, I've seen him come from rugby to football, you know, when he was five years. See, this journey started three years ago, you know. Amen has a chance of a lifetime to play for one of the best clubs in the world who are now chasing a treble. The English Premier League, the FA Cup and the UEFA Champions League. His motivation comes from his idol who is a core member of the Manchester City squad. His favourite player to be honest is uh, Foden, you know, because he's a local boy. He, he used to live right next to where my warehouse is at, so he loves Foden, you know, because he, he sees himself going through that, you know what I mean? Living in Manchester, Liverpool is not far away and there were many choices in terms of teams. But City was a natural choice. We were at Liverpool, we were at United. I'm not saying every, every academy has their positives and negatives. But I always believe with sport, uh, it's a matter of um, where the child is, is, is comfortable, you know what I mean? It's all about being comfortable and Amen was comfortable at City and that's how we let it be. Here comes a goal-scoring machine with a rocket of a right foot. Eamon on Yango! The family doesn't regret the choice, having witnessed the colourful unveiling and signing ceremony at the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. The academy players get the same training as the senior team at the same training ground with the same facilities. They have a good setup over there and the kids are well taken care of. That's the most important thing. Like today, you see, they come to Wembley, they're watching the game, they're seeing some players who are in the academy playing for the first team. That's what it's all about, man. Amen signing for Manchester City was big news in Kenya. The family had kept the news under wraps until his unveiling. I knew that th that was going to happen, and that's why I kept it very quiet all these years, you know, because I knew that, you know, he's too young for this, and he could play for Rambe Stars if they get their stuff in order, you know, with the sevens, Jacobo could play for Kenya, you know. It's all about choices. I just hope that the federations at home could get their houses in order because there's a lot of talented kids here with the, with the, with the ties with back home. That is the news that Kenyans really wanted to hear. 
But as Ayman and his brother know about Kenya, and would they want to play for Kenya in future? Alma Jaman Mesha Peleka Islano Metembe Amta, Wamekula Sembo, Wamenda Ocha, Wamekatino, Wamekimiza Kuko, Kachinjiwa. So, you know, these are, these are, these are, you know, these are sons of the soil. At the end of the match, the queues at the train stations for the ride back to Manchester are long with fans happy that their team once again won convincingly. Well, Manchester City qualifying for the finals of the FA Cup is another chance for Amen and the Academy boys to come and witness another great game by the senior team. Michael Kinney for Citizen TV at the Wembley Stadium in London, United Kingdom.